tucked away in the bowels of the Israel Museum within Jerusalem is a small, inconspicuous artifact that if the claims of its origins, believed by many independent researchers and scholars alike, be true, it would support the existence of a remarkable treasure, which countless individuals over the millennia have become convinced of its existence, yet their efforts to discover this treasure were all to no avail. Yet a small ivory pomegranate, about the size of an adult's thumb, with some rather intriguing inscriptions still readable upon it, could possibly prove those who believe in its existence right all along. The object's Paleo-Hebrew inscription contains the divine name of Yahweh, which was used by the ancient Israelites. If authentic, then this small ivory pomegranate may be a still-existing head of a scepter of King Solomon, which could have only been found within a treasure and possible tomb, which many claim still remains beneath Solomon's temple itself. What makes this treasure so incredibly intriguing, if indeed it existed, along with its gold and silver relics and the aforementioned scepters and canes, was that with this collection has long been claimed to have been the storage place for the Ark of the Covenant, whose location is also continually debated by many different fields of interest. The scepter's head's authenticity has, predictably, been dismissed by some and argued as real by others, yet having first came to the attention of the public over 30 years ago its discovery and possible incredible origins have received a suspiciously low level of media attention. Paleographer André Lemaire initially stumbled across the ivory pomegranate in 1979, for sale in an antiquity shop in Jerusalem. Lemaire published a note on the object in the French scholarly journal Revue Biblique in 1981. And by his 1984 issue of BAR, the inscribed ivory pomegranate was really beginning to be looked at seriously. For 15 years, the inscribed ivory pomegranate could be seen at the Israel Museum, displayed in a special room with a direct beam of light on it. In 2005, however, a committee comprised of Israel Antiquities Authority and Israel Museum scholars published a report in the Israel Exploration Journal concluding that the inscription was a forgery. However, this claim by the individuals who forensically examined the object originally were later redacted, stating they could not confirm its authenticity, yet were reluctant to state it as authentic. Yet regardless, it is now curiously protected and not on display. Is this object really a surviving relic from the treasures of the Temple of Solomon? Does this support the possibility that other treasures, specifically the Ark of the Covenant, could really exist? We find such possibility highly compelling. <laughs>